Hi again. This is Stan Lyle with Master Math. Today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting integers. During the lesson, we'll come to some slides labeled You Try It, where you're asked to do a problem. Hit the pause button, do the problem at your desk, and then hit the forward button to go on to the answer. We're going to talk about adding and subtracting integers, and I know you guys have done this for a long time, but we're going to kind of focus on negative numbers and the impact of a negative number on addition and subtraction. And one important thing to remember is when you consider a number line, when you're adding, or if it's a positive number, you move to the right. If you're subtracting, or it's a negative number, you move to the left. This is real easy, but it'll get us started. When you're adding a positive number plus a positive number, it's just important to remember that you've got two positive numbers, two motions to the right on a number line. So if we're adding 4 plus 3, we're going to start at 0 and move 4 to the right. And then we've got plus 3, so we want to add 3 more, move 3 more to the right, and we come up with 7. Now visually, this is easy to see. We've got four cubes that are green. Green means they're positive. And they're going to add three more that are green. So four cubes plus three cubes equals seven cubes. Well, what happens when we add a negative number to a positive number? Four plus minus three, for instance. Well, there's a couple of ways to look at this. Let's look at it on the number line first. We've got 4 plus minus 3. Well, we're going to start at 0. And then we've got 4, and that's a positive number. So we're going to go 4 to the right. And then we're going to add negative 3. Negative 3, you're going to go to the left. So you've got 1, 2, 3 to the left. And you, add, you end up at 1. Another way to look at this is to say 4 plus negative 3. Well, I've got a plus and a negative. Wherever you've got a plus and a negative, they combine to a negative. So I can rewrite 4 plus negative 3 as 4 minus 3. And the third way we're going to look at this is with the cubes again. I've got four green positive cubes and three red negative cubes. So I've got 4 minus 3. Well, each of those negative cubes is going to uh, take away one of the positive cubes. So I take away three positive cubes, and I got one positive cube left, so the answer is one. We've used number lines to try to explain addition of positive and negative numbers. And it should be clear to you that you move to the right with a positive number, and you move to the left with a negative number. But just to make sure you can see this, I'm going to talk about the two uh, alternatives uh, using these number lines. If we've got 4 plus 3, I start at 0, and I go 4 to the right because it's a positive number. And then I'm going to add, which means go to the right. And then I'm going to add a positive number, 3, which means go to the right again. So I've got 4 plus 1, 2, 3, and I end up at 7. Well, how is that different than 4 plus negative 3? Clearly, 4 plus negative 3 and 4 plus positive 3 couldn't be the same thing. So, you start out at 0, and you move 4 to the right, which is just what we did above in the 4 plus positive 3. But now, instead of, I've got, instead of having a positive 3, I've got a negative 3. So instead of going to the right, I go to the left, 1, 2, 3, and I end up at 1. What happens if we're adding a positive number and a negative number, and the absolute value of the negative number is greater than the absolute value of the positive number? Well, real simply, that just means you got more power pushing you to the left than you have pushing you to the right. The positive number goes to the right, but the negative number has a greater absolute value, so it's going to push you further to the left. So, looking at the number line, if I start at 0, I got plus 4, and that took me 4 into the positive side. But I got a bigger negative number, so it's going to push me further than the 4 did, and it's going to push me 8 to the left, and I'm going to end up at negative 4. 
Now another way to do this is to say the difference between 8 and 4 is 4 and the negative number has a greater absolute value than the absolute value of the positive number so I'm going to end up on the negative side. Okay, what happens if we have a negative number plus a negative number? We're adding two negative numbers. Well, let's try the example minus 4 plus minus 3. Now, you remember we talked about the fact that if I'm adding a negative, I can change that plus minus to just a minus, and I could rewrite minus 4 plus minus 3 as minus 4 minus 3, which is minus 7. But let's look at the number line because it may make it easier for you to understand. I got minus 4 plus minus 3. I start at 0 always and I go minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 in the negative direction. And then I've got minus 3. So I go 3 more in the negative direction. And I end up at... Well that's it for addition. Now let's move on to subtraction. What happens when we have a positive number minus a positive number? Our example is 4 minus 3. And I could rewrite that 4 plus minus 3. Because you remember a, uh, a plus a minus number is the same thing as subtracting a number. Well, let's look at it visually first. And you'll see it's exactly the same as the earlier slide where we talked about 4 plus minus 3. I've got 4 cubes, positive cubes that are green. And I've got 3 red or negative cubes. So when I add the positive 4 to the negative 3, 3 of these red cubes eliminate 3 of the green cubes, and it leaves just one green cube or a positive 1. On the number line, it's pretty simple to understand this. And again, it's the same as it was earlier when we talked about adding a negative number to a positive number. We start out at 0. And we go 4 to the right because it's a positive number, and we end up at 4. And then we go 3 to the left because we're subtracting, so we go 1, 2, 3 to the left, and we end up at positive 1. Well, what would happen if we had a positive number and we were going to subtract a negative number? Our example is 4 minus minus 3. Well, here's a trick. And it relates to uh, a, a trick I taught you a minute ago. Remember when we had plus a negative number, we had a plus and a minus, and it ended up being a minus. Here we've got negative a negative number. So I, what happens is that negative 3 reverses the, the minus and makes it a positive. So 4 minus minus 3 is the same thing as 4 plus 3 minus a minus number is positive. 4 plus 3 is 7. On the number line, I think this will help you understand what's going on. We start out, we, the expression is 4 minus minus 3. So I start out at 0 and I go 4 to the right because it was a positive number. So I'm, I, my, after my first step, I'm at positive 4. Now they're asking me to subtract. Well, normally when I subtract, I'm going to go to the left. But I've got a negative sign here, so it's going to reverse that to the left and make it go to the right. So now I've got 4 minus minus 3. I go to the right 3 more, and I end up at 7. Again, I started at 4. Had it been 4 minus positive 3, I'd have gone back that direction. But it's not 4 minus positive 3, it's 4 minus negative 3. That negative reverses the subtraction and makes it a positive, and I go 3 to the right and end up at positive 7. Okay, what would happen if we subtracted a negative number from a negative number? Our example is minus 4 minus minus 3. Now first of all, you recall that when we added a negative number, that negative sign in front of the number reversed the addition and made it a subtraction problem. Well, the negative number would reverse a negative sign as well. So I've got minus negative 3. Well, that negative reverses the minus and makes it a plus, and then I've got minus 4 plus 3. Now I could rewrite 
minus 4 plus 3, 3 minus 4. And 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Now let's look at the number lines. It may be a little easier to, for you to see this. Let's start with this one, minus 4 plus 3. All right, I start out at 0, and I go 4 to the left because it's a minus number, so minus 4. And then I've got positive 3, so I go 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3 to the right, and I end up at negative 1. Well, let's look at the other way we put it together. 3 minus 4 equals negative 1. As always, we're going to start at 0, and I've got a positive 3, so I'm going to go 3 to the right, and I end up at positive 3. And then I'm going to go minus 4, or 4 to the left, and I end up at minus What happens if we're asked to add and subtract a problem with more than two integers? Well, let's see. I've got a sample here, 3 plus 5 minus 6. And all I do is do it a step at a time. First, I do the 3 plus 5, and I change it to 3 plus 5 minus 6. And then I solve the 3 plus 5, which is 8, and I carry forward the minus 6, and now my problem is 8 minus 6, which is 2. Now you try one. 6 minus 8. Pause the video, do the problem on paper, and then hit the forward key to advance to the solution. Okay, I've got 6 minus 8. Let's do it on the number line first. We start at 0 and we go positive 6 because that's the first number in the problem. Now we got minus 8, minus go to the left, so I'm going to go 8 to the left, and I end up at minus 2. There's another way we could do this, though. If I'm uh, subtracting a larger number from a smaller number, I'm going to end up on the left side of the number line, and it's going to be an answer that's negative. Let's look at it. I've got 6 plus minus 8. Well, what I do is get the difference between 6 and 8, which is 2, and then I figure out which is stronger. Is minus 8 a greater distance to the left, or is positive 6 a greater distance to the right? And negative 8 is 2 more to the left than positive 6 is to the right, so my answer is going to be negative. Try this one. Minus 4, minus 6. Hit the pause button, and when you're done, hit the forward key. How about minus 4 minus 6? Well, let's look at the number line. I start out at 0, and then I got minus 4, so I go 4 to the left, and I end up at minus 4. And then I got another negative sign, negative 6, so I'm going to go 6 more to the left, and I end up at negative 10, which is the answer. Another way to look at this is I've got negative 4, negative 6. Both are negative numbers. I'm going to end up as a negative number. All I do is add the 4 and the 6 and put the negative sign on it in front of it. 4 plus 6 is 10 and put the negative sign in front. Nine minus five plus six. Well, this is real easy. All I do is do it at a, a one step at a time, and the answer will come to us. So we're going to start with the first part of the expression, nine minus five, and I'm going to solve that. Nine minus five equals four, and then I'm going to carry forward my six, and I've got four plus six, which equals ten. Let's try it on a number line. I've got I'm going to start at 0, and then I've got positive 9, so I'm going to go 9 units to the right. And then I've got minus 5, so I'm going to go 5 units to the left and end up at positive 4. And then I'm going to go 6 units to the right, and I end up at 10. That's the conclusion of our les lesson on adding and subtracting integers. Now it's your turn to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info 
find the worksheet page. Under seventh grade, first quarter, find adding and subtracting integers. Download and print the worksheet and test your skills. Good luck with that and come back and visit us real soon.